I'm starting a journey today of similar distance to my Castletown Bear to Dublin trip. I'm already a little bit up country, um, but I'm starting off with a relatively cool battery at five segments. I'm in Care in County Tipperary. I'm going to the launch of the Irish Hill Climb and Sprint Championship, which is actually in Port Leash, which is one of the locations that I charged the car on that Dublin trip. Um, I'm going to return uh, from there back to Castletown Bear in the afternoon. So we should do approximately the same distance of 380 kilometers. It'll be interesting today. What I want to try and do is keep the battery temperature a little bit lower by charging uh, to less capacity, perhaps around 75% uh, and see if this has an impact uh, on the heating issue that we experienced where we ran quite uh, close to the maximum um, after just uh, three charges on that trip and I actually haven't planned this out completely I, I don't want to overdo it I'm just going to use the uh, fast chargers as I need them and drive at the rate that I want to go rather than pacing things out too much I have a little bit of extra time to play with so I'm not cutting it too fine I need to be there around lunchtime much the same as that other Sunday trip uh, I seem to have a habit of doing that the first thing I'm going to do is pop up the road, it's just about a kilometre uh, to that uh, Chadamo fast charger and we'll top the battery up. We're at 50% at the moment um, with five segments of temperature and we'll bring the, bring the charge up to about 75% and we'll head off and I think we'll do a fast charge in Erlingford. The car could theoretically go all the way to Port Leash from here, it's only about 95 kilometres. But I think if we go straight there and then put the car onto the fast charger as we did in the other trip, um, we will start to experience more overheating by the end of the day. So let's uh, do some mileage and try and keep things cool today. I've done an approximately 10 minute charge just up the road from the castle um, at a charge point near a petrol station and I brought the car up to 75% and we actually haven't increased the uh, the battery temperature at all it's still at the uh, five segments so that's a, a good sign i have noticed the tendency of the car to pop up um, a segment between 75 and 80 percent so quite often when i've been waiting to achieve 80 percent it's it's gone into another bar so that's that's my theory for uh, to trying to maintain um below 75 percent charge on this uh staging journey shall we call it could go all the way to uh, Port Leash as I mentioned before but I'm actually going to try this short staging and stop at Erlingford which is actually only 50 kilometers away. I'll be rejoining the motorway just outside Care, and Erlingford is actually a location where I leave the motorway again to go a more direct route to Port Leash. This also avoids a toll which is handy. I'm out on the motorway now and I'm maintaining 120 kilometers an hour, which is the speed limit here. I'm not making too many calculations about range or anything. I know I can comfortably make it to the next stop. I've gained one bar on the temperature of the battery, so we're up to six segments now, which is uh, something I observe normally uh, during driving and I think at the, this full rate of maintaining 120 kilometers an hour, um, expected that there'll be some uh, temperature generated by that. I've come off the motorway now and I'm at another charge point at a, the back of a petrol station. 55km of range left, down to 32% of the battery, still just with that uh, extra segment now so we have six six segments on the battery before we commence the charge I've been charging here for 15 minutes and reached 75 percent it's like gambling thrill with this it's still at six segments so I better get it off the charger quick and um, before it pops up any more temperature so we're, we're maintaining so far that's 76 percent better go maintaining a hundred kilometers an hour on these national roads and we're still at six segments of battery temperature. So that seems to be working. I wonder would we have uh, gained one on the motorway. On my return journey, I'll be doing a more
sustain period on the motorway and that could uh, give us an indication uh, more to whether the temperature when doing this 75% uh, charging is coming more from the driving rate at 120 kilometers an hour rather than 100. We made a decision had to be made about whether I would charge when I arrive at the forum today or just before I depart. Now because there's going to be quite a few charges on the return journey, I think I'll do the charge when I arrive, especially since the temperature uh, has remained low on this part of the journey. It's kind of nice to be passing through these towns. When I bought Gina, the orange cadet, the day I collected her, I collected her up this part of the country and as she was a completely unproven classic car to me at the time, I decided to go back on the national roads instead of labouring it on the motorway. So if I needed to do any bits and pieces on it on the way, um, it would be easy to pull in. And I did, actually the uh, the wheel bearings, in fairness, the, um, the, the vendor must have actually done them just before selling, but they, they needed a Titan uh, fairly early in the trip. So I was a long way from home and I was getting a fair humming noise from the back. But when I uh, took off the dust cap, um, I saw fresh grease. So um, it was a good sign and all they needed was a little squeeze and I was underway again. And the car did a, a great journey. And my goodness, I, I think we did a good 10,000 miles in that car before I, I did any uh, major work in it other than servicing. So it's nice to be going back through these towns again. I don't really mind this. It feels like travel again. Well, we're on time this time. <laughs> Just eight minutes left till one o'clock. like having your own reserved parking space. Well, I charged it a little bit more than I had intended to, so it's come up to 93%. I got talking to somebody uh, and uh, it's like I, I nearly overcooked the chicken. <laughs> but uh, actually the car, um, when I checked it, had only gone up to seven segments. And having sat there now while I was at the meetings, etc., cetera, for um, just three hours, it's back at six segments lit up. And so I think this is gonna be a, a good trial of it. I've got 300 kilometers to do. I want to drive it straight with just the brakes for charging. And uh, let's see what kind of performance we can get out of the car. the motorway there it's done its big uh, detour down the Limerick route and it's come back parallel with us here the when you split on these routes um, the sat nav actually says similar similar ETA uh, for each direction um, so this is ideal for um, giving the uh, EV a little bit of a, a break I use it in my old camper because it can't keep up to the um, the, the speed limit so um, I like this little route and it gives you an option there's a good uh, petrol stop here if uh, you're driving ICE and um, with the uh, EV there's in Erlingford um, a good uh, fast charger as well so I can keep my, uh, my old driving patterns. I've been driving now for just over 20 minutes and as I said this is a 100k uh, limited road and we're maintaining those six segments. Now I kind of have a feeling that when I get onto the motorway um, I might gain a, a segment um, of temperature from the, the rate of discharge. Uh, we're only at 73% uh, battery now because of that extra bit that I got in at the fast charger in Port Leash. So I think it would be uh, pointless of me uh, to go to that uh, Erlingford charger because we're, we're actually nearly there now. Um, I'll go out onto the, uh, the motorway and we'll push on as far as Cashel and I might get a, a bit of grub there because it is uh, after 
two different methods. Um, I could theoretically push on now and get as far as care and that would give me sufficient charge to get to McCroom which would be my last charge before home. But as the method proved the last time, there was too much thermal build up in the battery. So I'm going to do the short journey to Cashel with its hop up in care to get me to McCroom. Because the McCroom leg is a little bit of a stretch on that theory. It's about 95 kilometers, I think, from memory. And I think if I went from Cashel all the way to McCroom, I would be happy to pace it out and probably go slow and end up uh, building up too much heat in the charges. We've arrived at the cash of the services uh, with 64 km left on the clock, 41% battery left and only six segments on, on temperature. I thought we'd gain one there while we were doing 120 as we did uh, going in the other direction. Um, that's going very well. Uh, considering it's uh, uh, 10 degrees today, um, it's just dropped down to 9 now. Um, very pleased the way it's going. Anyway, better quickly get it on charge in case uh, someone else wants to use the charge point. In the time I queued and got my burger, we're up to 68%. So my main concern now is eating fast enough because the car is charging too quick. Now we have gained that segment of temperature for up to seven now. And I think if I stayed charging up to 80%, it would gain an extra grade in the temperature for the battery. Um, so sticking to this approach and coming off at 75, hopefully I'll beat that. There's definitely an element of excitement. It's like uh, gambling or something uh, with this method. But uh, knowing, uh, holding your nerve and uh, deciding the right time to let go. So I better get eating and uh, stop talking. I've reached 75%. I'm only halfway through my food. And you know what, I'm gonna pack it up and I'm gonna catch up with that later. I'm gonna get this thing off the charger now. I don't know if you can see, but there's actually a, a queue for petrol there. and There was no queue for the electric car. Handy. I've realized that the distance that my sat-nav on the phone has been given me is to a waypoint and not the destination of the McCroom charger. Maintaining that 120 kilometers an hour on the motorway, I'm seeing um, it doesn't fall naturally to, to come off at Mitchellstown. I wouldn't make that stretch and I, I didn't want to slow down to try and pace it out so what's falling more naturally with the, the rate of stops on this journey is to go on stay longer on the motorway and come off at Fermoy go to that rapid charger handily missing another toll and uh, it means I get to finish my dinner a little bit more soon I'd like to actually work out the, uh, the amount of time uh, it took me on the other trip to get from Castletown Bear to Port Leash, uh, but I'm not sure with uh, finishing my dinner will I actually have enough time to, to go through the phone and watch that video. I think people might have thought that I was exaggerating when I was saying I didn't get to do all the things I wanted to do at the, the charges, but uh, they are that quick that um, <laughs> that is the case sometimes. I've arrived at the Fermoy charge point, which is beside the supermarket. We had 60k to spare, and we are on seven segments. Let's see what happens uh, during the charge, but even if we go a segment now, and then a segment later on the other charge, we'll still be one below the red, which is grand, I think. Um, it's 20 to seven now. Got a phone call to make now as well before I check out that video, which is uh, to my buddy about my next very very exciting trip to collect a wheelchair accessible cadet 1980 from Wuppertal in Germany, and we're going to use a good old fashioned conventional diesel uh, to go over and uh, tow that car back on a trailer, which we've had uh, kindly sponsored. This is so that I can take. Uh, 
my uncle uh, around Beira and the area that I live uh, in the style um, everybody else in my family has had to be accustomed to and uh, there's no compromise for him um, because of uh, his situation. I got the food eaten, I actually didn't get a chance to make my phone call yet, uh, I used the, the, the bathroom there locally. Because it took on a segment there at 40%, um, we're on our 8th segment, I've decided I'm going to finish this charge at 65%, which is now. So I'm kind of playing battery roulette here, and, and that still leaves me uh, two available before I get near the red. So the sat nav's kind of done it again on around the same part of the journey as well, only in the opposite direction. Um, this time I was very clear, I set um, my cross country route as an alternative, and I think because there was a couple of seconds worth of traffic on that route, it automatically diverted me, so maybe I have to look, look at the settings so that that doesn't happen again. But uh, as a result, I haven't been doing that uh, 80 and 100k journey cross country, and I've been doing 120k on a longer uh, route around on the motorway and dual carriageways. That's meant to be burning energy a bit. Um, I would actually, again, I would have enough to get to um, to McCroom, but I would only have 30 kilometers spare. That would mean quite a strong charge for the car at that point, and that charger, if there's anything wrong with that, is a long way from any others. So I'm going to go to the um, the charge point on the south link and just do a very short uh, top up. I need to get something from the boot, uh, I left my diary in there and I need to check out some details for somebody that I need to make a phone call for. So I have to go to the boot anyway. Um, so we'll take a quick boost here. That'll give us contingency if there's anything wrong with the McCroom charger. Yeah, arrive in Ross Lair at 3.30 on Friday. In the afternoon? Yeah. Oh, you're very bad. Okay, look, don't panic yet. I'll, um, I, I think there might be possibility we could get there for Wednesday night at the ferry and back in on Thursday, okay? Yeah, all right. I'll, okay. um, I'll let you know tomorrow, okay? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Thanks, man. Thanks, Talk thanks, to you then. Bye-bye. Yeah, bye. Okay. Bye -bye. Uh, bye. We're just below overheating this battery, so we're running this uh, leaf uh, right to the max of its capabilities today. So I've had a chance to uh, review the, the video from the last time, and it seems that we did um, Castletown Bear to Port Leash, and it took a little over uh, five hours to do that. Um, today we've got um, about 100 kilometers uh, left to do, and we're only three hours and 20 minutes into the trip. I'm not actually going directly home. I'm going to another event on the way. So, but it is an equivalent distance. Um, so it'll be a fair measure. In fact, I think we'll actually be a little over the overall distance by the end of the day. The temperature has reached the max and we're at 68%. I'm only going to brave 70% before disconnecting, I'll have enough range to get me home. It was getting a bit late the other night to be doing too many calculations about time and distance, and I had to do a little detour on the, the final part of the journey between McCroom and home. So this threw out my uh, distance and time a little bit. But it's fair to say that I would have arrived home at 10 o'clock. Um, that the battery temperature was uh, 9. Um, so we still had a, a segment in reserve there. Um, at that point, we'd actually completed 405 kilometers on the total journey. And adding up and taking out the time while the car wasn't charging uh, in Port Leash on this trip, um, it's safe to say that those 405 kilometers were actually achieved uh, in seven hours, including all the charging. The trip was commenced also on a Chatamo charge, uh, 
whereas the previous one had had a nice slow charge the night before um, so that would have been another factor to increase and put the car at more of a disadvantage in terms of uh, battery temperature so with that against it and also then uh, going wrong in my route around Formoy and having to take that other short charge that also contributed to more charging uh, on the, the Chatamo charger which again could have increased the battery so I think uh, it's safe to say that the journey could have been achieved uh, in even less time and with uh, less battery temperature. The result of the journey between Port Leash and home uh, on the Dublin trip I've double checked with the video and it actually took 5 hours and 20 minutes uh, on the way up that time and on this particular journey um, it was achieved in under 5 hours so there is a definite improvement in time over the journey and less pressure on the battery so I'm pretty pleased with uh, learning that approach and it's definitely something to continue to perfect into the future and what's pleasing about it is it's the simplest approach the, there was no range anxiety during that trip there was plenty in reserve all the time and actually apart from making calculations to summarize the video in terms of the just the driving there was actually very little time uh, spent thinking about route or distance so I think that's the way to go